ready to rumble and once again we gotta supply a removal we're technically not supply we gotta remove 2000 uh, from the 2000 where we're talking about calories per second okay so now let's make an, a small analysis I think we have almost everything yeah we got almost everything here so now our simulation is done I just wanted to show you plenty of material balances now let's analyze what's happening here Okay, so 100 kilomoles are entering here, in which they are separated to 70 and to 26. Those 26 are liquid, we cool them down, we decrease the pressure, and they go through other plants. So this is essentially 20 of the inlet, 8 of the inlet. So isn't that awesome that we have 100% and only 27% is liquid? So the typically liquids you will see, gasoline or uh, whatever liquid you can imagine, all these typically is accompanied by a huge amount of gas. So let's see what's happening here. We are getting a little bit of hydrogen, most likely will be used in a seam gas factory. Then we got the methane right here. Probably we're going to use it as natural gas or they're going to be using as a fuel. Then we got the separation. And we have this amount, 21 kilomole of C2, C3. So we, where do we use ethane and propane? We use it extensively in petrochemistry. We might be forming ethylene, maybe. We are they taking away those hydrogens from the ethane. Um, propane, maybe we're going to form some isomers or maybe other things. They are very useful in chemistry. But this amount is very small to be using it. So we know that most of the C6, 7, 8 are going through here. So let's analyze this stream. And you will see that it's a very small amount of C6, 7, and 8. So actually you can see here it's mostly hexane, heptane, and octane. But if you see the flow rates, it's almost nothing. Remember that our flow rate is 100%. So let's see, uh, where is it fit? And this is a stack. So out of out of 12 kilomoles, we are losing 2%. So actually, it's a little bit considerably. It's about one sixth, one fifth, uh, 20%. So 20% is going away. We are losing 20% of our exchange. So probably you, as the process engineer, should see if this is worth it. What can we do? If we add another unit operation, maybe a distillation unit, or change the preheating, adding pressurization, you need to see what's worth it. Also, C7, as you can see, we're not losing that much compared to the exchange. And obtain, obtain is not lost that much. Okay, guys? So, verify purities. Let's go here. You can, the best way to do this is to go to the results. Here, you just collapse all this here, result summary, streams. And oh boy, you will get all these streams. So this process is not that big, so still you can manage to remove all this part for here. We want to see purities, here they are. So whenever your boss or the senior or the project leader asks you for something, you say, yeah, what do you want? You want the Composition of hydrogen in our final specification going to plant number one. So this is plant number one, product line. We're talking about hydrogen, so this is the amount. It's 0 0.0006. So technically speaking, 0 0.7, no, 0.07%. What do we have here? What is the mole flow rate for plant one? So how much are we sending right now? So you just open here, go to mole flow rates. You're talking about plant one here. And this is, we're sending 18.5 kilomole per hour to plant number one. Let's say they are asking you about the flow rate of hydrogen in here. So the flow rate of hydrogen here, you're talking about volumetric flow rate. And here it goes, volume flow, 4,000. 
960 liters per minute. So let's say that they are English, or not English, but let's say that they want to use other units, so you can change to barrels, you can change to cubic feet, you can change to gallons. So let's say that they are used to talk about in gallons per hour. So you give them here, and you will state that it's about 78 gallons per hour or if you're more in a civilized part of the world you will be using cubic meters per day you have it right here mass flow rate of plant number two okay so that's an interesting one we need mass flow rate not mole flow rate so plant number two is right here and we have it here mass flow rate yeah 755 kilograms per hour let's say once again we are in USA they want to change these two pounds per year and here it goes actually let's change pounds per um, yeah let's make it a day here it goes so that's awesome you can change it very rapidly and especially when you're in a hurry with a lot of senior project engineers and they are asking you a lot it's it's kind of useful to be comfortable with this spreadsheet these result strings heat duty of the chiller now this is interesting because right now we are in the stream part so what you're wondering what where can we get this right here so you just go here and state before you can add oh, damn wait for it okay sorry about that i just opened the heat exchanger i had to close it it typically takes a lot of time here in my computer but anyways now let's go and click modify remember that you can always add heat duties here so it's kind of convenient especially because you don't have that many units or if you actually need a very specific value just click here results don't choose stream results select results here and you will get them here heat duty negative implies removal if you're in the usa maybe they want btu per hour you give them if you are maybe talking about kilojoules, kilowatt per seconds, you click here. Maybe you're talking about watt, what else would have gigawatt, joules per second, if you're very straightforward, which technically is watt. Or you just select whatever you think is useful at the moment. So by default, MET C bar has calories for duty, heat duty, but if you were to choose SI system, it will change to watt as you can see here or technically speaking joules per second let's go back here okay guys what else do we have here heat duty of the flash drum so that's a tricky question and this is why i'm telling you that you gotta know chemical uh, chemical engineering if you were just playing with this you will say why do i get zero right here is it uh, not calculating this or maybe uh, there is an error no we are saying that this flash is operating adiabatically so by definition you are gonna have zero heat duty so that was a trick one and the composition of the product lines I already checked them here remember you can always go into the result summary right here strings right here so here are all the compositions so guys i think we're yeah we're done hopefully you get to see how we work with aspen plus and i already show you plenty of things how to work with streams units how to check out the labels pressure if you're only interested in mole flow rates math flow rates volumetric flow rates depending on what's your convenience and more importantly how to interact with the simulation environment we didn't work that much with the physical property environment we're going to use one specific case study but right now i wanted to show you the typical material balances carried out by sep1 sep2 and flash as well as cooler okay so i hope you enjoy guys see you in the next case study